Katie Sackhoff has revealed Bo-Katan Chris's faithful ally Axe Woves, played by Simon Cassianides, was nearly killed off in the second season of The Mandalorian. In fact, Cassianides even filmed his tragic sacrifice before creators Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni decided to bring him back for season 3. Axe, you know, we knew he was supposed to die last year. That was the thing that no one could talk about, Sackhoff said. There was this moment where he sacrifices himself in that episode. We shot it. In season 2. At the end of season 2, Dindarin, Pedro Pascal, confronts Moff Gideon, Giancarlo Esposito, to rescue Grogu with some help from Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, and his Mandalorian companions. Axe was initially supposed to take part in a gripping action sequence which ended in his sacrifice, but this was changed at the last minute. And then they were like, it needs to be done. Not him, Sackhoff explained on the Big Thing podcast. So then you shoot a person's death and then they take it out and then Terry's still a scene left and then everyone's like, where'd they go? Of course, the Mandalorian didn't kill off its central hero when Axe was swapped out, and both bounty hunters returned for further adventures in season 3. Don't miss! Law and Order fans in Meltdown as Ice-T reunites with Kelly Giddish, reaction, 911 Lone Star's Gina Torres requested change for Tommy Scene, interview, American Idol's Ryan Seacrest slammed for being a DK, backlash, Bo-Katan and Axe played a huge role in the finale last week, which saw Gideon reveal his master plan to take over the galaxy with his Force-sensitive clones. However, Axe was instrumental in ensuring Gideon's reign of terror came to an end, and it was ultimately Mandalorian warrior Paz Villa, Tate Fletcher, who made the sacrifice play. Din and Grogu's story appears to be at an end for now, though Favreau has revealed he already has season 4 written and ready to go. The heroes are also expected to return in an upcoming film which will bring the Star Wars TV universe onto the big screen. Teasing his plans for the future, Filoni told Empire, I always relate to my own Star Wars experience and think, how can I give kids now, that, feeling? Something that I understood as a kid was the conflict established in A New Hope, the Rebels vs the Empire. I thought something in the expanded universe that was very easy to understand was, in the New Republic and the Remnant Empire, that the tables have turned a little bit. Din and Grogu's story will eventually lead into Disney's sequel trilogy, plus the franchise will continue to expand with Ahsoka, The Acolyte and Andor Season 2 all coming soon. The Mandalorian is available to stream on Disney+. Thank you.